Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach fifth sum of a uh, triple integration chapter. So find mass in kg of a ball which has a radius two meter and density delta is equal delta x y z is equal to two kg per meter square. Okay. Now what they have given r r is how much they have given there two meters and the delta x y z is equal to two kg per meter square. Now there is a formula for mass. Mass is equal to density into volume of the sphere. Density is two here. Okay. Volume of the sphere is four by three pi r cube. Why? Because it is a ball. Okay. Now this r is two meters. So I have written here. Take r is equal to two. So two into four into uh, pi into two cube divided by three. So you will get sixty four pi by three in kgs. Fine. Now let us see if we integrate this. So mass is equal to triple integration of delta x y z uh, dx dy dz. This is in the Cartesian form. We need to change in a spherical coordinates. Okay. So triple integration of f of r theta phi r square sine phi dr d theta and d phi. This f of r uh, theta uh, phi is nothing but delta x y z and that is nothing but two. Okay. So I have written here two. Now further r square sine phi dr d theta d phi I have written here. Now let us see the range. R is equal to zero to two because it is a radius of a ball. So I have considered a ball here on the coordinates and it is zero to two. So r is equal to zero to two since it is a one complete circle. So it is zero to two pi. Now phi will become zero to pi. Now I have written here r value zero to two. Theta value zero to two pi and phi is a zero to pi. Now two I have kept outside integration. Uh, so integration of r square is r cube upon three, and the range is zero to two. So I have written here zero to two. This sine phi d theta and d phi as it is. Now uh, in place of r, if I substitute the upper limit two, so it will become uh, r two uh, cube. Two cube divided by three. Sine phi d theta and d phi. This two I have written here. Two cube is eight by three. Okay. Sine phi I have kept outside, and these two integration I have written here and d theta d phi because integrating only d theta is theta. Okay. Again the range is from zero to two pi. Fine. Now in place of theta I am going to write a two pi. That is upper limit and zero not required. Fine. Now this will become sixteen by three sine phi. And a two pi. Now last is integration of a, uh, d phi. So this sine phi I have written here. So zero to pi sine phi d phi is minus cos phi, and the range is from zero to pi. Okay. Now sixteen two is a thirty two pi by three. This minus I have written outside sine phi. Uh, upper limit is pi. So cos uh, cos pi is minus one. Minus of lower limit is cos zero is one. Minus one minus one is minus two. Minus two into uh, minus is plus two. So thirty two into two is sixty four pi by three. You can see if we uh, solve by triple integration also we are getting the same answer. And if we solve like this we are getting the same answer. Fine. I hope you understood this sum perfectly. Thank you very much and keep watching.